Hallelujah. Someone that is excited to be here tonight, give the Lord a joyful shout. Amen. I want to let you know that this is the night you have been waiting for. You have lived many nights, but this is that night you will live to remember. And so on behalf of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I want to welcome you to this night that you will not forget in a hurry. It's a night of solution. And I believe God is sending us his servant tonight to take us to the point of solution. What do I call it? Until Moses come, deliverance was far-fetched to the people of God. But at the advancement of Moses, everything was sorted out. I remember the title tonight, One Night with the King. The word one night, one night, one night, one night. That's the emphasis tonight. It's not just a night. It's a night of night. A night you will live to remember. God has prepared a memorial miracle for somebody here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me to turn to your neighbor just this night. One night. Just this night. One night. We settle that matter. And if you watch very well, no matter how long it has been for oppression to last, God has reserved a celebration ahead of you. In Exodus 12, Verses 40, 41, 42, you see what happened to the children of Israel. Now the sojourning of children of Israel, who dwell in Egypt was 430 years. How long is your own affliction? One, 430 years. And you see, it came to pass at the end of 430 years, even that self same day, just one. It came to pass that all the hosts of the Lord went out of the land of Egypt. Tonight you are going out of your own land of Egypt. It may be long, but it's not late. I say it may be long, it's not late. 15 year barrenness, 20 year barrenness, affliction, 30 year. I say it's long, but it's not late. And the Bible says it is a night to be much observed unto the Lord for bringing them out of the land of Egypt. This is that night of the Lord to be observed of all the children of history in their generation. Take note. That night to be observed. You can substitute that word observed to be remembered, to be celebrated. A night never to be forgotten. That shall happen in your case. The whole of them, and I believe everyone under the sound of my voice, just like the whole host of the Lord went out, three million at least, went out one night. So it's not a problem for God to solve everyone's problem here. No, it's not a problem to heal everyone that is sick here. It's not a problem to give everyone desire a breakthrough, a breakthrough in one particular area of the law. There were so many, there were millions. But that same night, God resolved every issue of concern in their life. Tonight, God will resolve every issue that bother you, that affect your destiny, just this night. And let's remember very well, for Jacob, it was a night. The second example, in Genesis 32, 24 to 31, it was a night. 
He had an encounter over the night. And by the day, time the day break, Jacob was another man. His story changed. God gave him a new name. Every of his past was rolled over. Tonight, my God, the God of this great commission, we put your past behind you. By the time we are going home in the morning, your past is over. A new you for a new beginning emerge from this mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, the truth shall be established. We saw Mordecai, Nestor chapter 6. He was, you know, arranged for destruction. But just one night, from verse 1, the king could not sleep because of just one personality that must be delivered. And that night, the destruction that had been planned against him was turned to celebration. The devil come to see, to kill, and to destroy, but I have good news to you. Jesus is here tonight to give you life in abundance, to turn your situation around. In the name of Jesus Christ, misfortune arranged from here will turn to celebration of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, just a night. Just a night. Just a night. You know why I'm echoing that? Begin to say your heart, ah, this is my night. Just this night. Not more than this night. This is my night. You begin to address that sickness, that affliction, that stagnation, that frustration. Just this night. This one night with the king of kings, we said to my king, this is the night. So while you are seated, you begin to meditate on that. As the world is going on, as we are praying, as we are singing, as we are dancing, and at a point, there will be a manifestation. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't wait for another night that will come. This is the night. All other night before you are for something else, but this is the night. Your own night. Others have their night past them. They have celebrated their night. But this is the night you will live to celebrate forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to stand on your feet where you are. And begin to echo it. Let the devil hear. Let all the hindering forces hear. Let the enemy hear. Let your oppression hear. This is my now with the King of Kings. Father, you did it for a whole nation of history. One night, you set to their case. For Jacob, you gave him a turnaround just one night. And Mordecai began to celebrate favor just one night. Lord, I present myself for my own portion tonight. I present myself for my own liberation tonight. If you are presenting yourself for healing, say so. You are presenting yourself for salvation, say so. You are presenting yourself for breakthrough, say so. Present yourself before the Lord. He's already here waiting for you. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father. The Son. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shout a most believing Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and please be seated. God bless you. Let's welcome the choir as a minister to all, taking us further tonight. Put your hands together for them.